Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Geography. Let's get to it. Question 1. In which country would you find the Abu Simbel temples? Is it A. Japan B. Egypt C. Yemen Or D. Vietnam The answer is B. Egypt. The Abu Simbel temples in Egypt were originally carved out of a mountainside during the reign of Pharaoh Ramses II. In the 1960s, they were relocated to avoid submersion due to the creation of Lake Nasser, an engineering marvel that involved cutting and reassembling the massive structures piece by piece. Question 2. What is the capital of Belgium? Is it A. Liège? B. Brussels? C. Ghent or D. Antwerp The answer is B. Brussels Brussels, the capital of Belgium, is not only the political heart of Europe but also home to the Atomium, a futuristic building shaped like an iron crystal magnified 165 billion times. This iconic structure was originally constructed for the 1958 Brussels World's Fair and remains a symbol of innovation and progress. Question 3. Nairobi is a city in which country? Is it A. Tanzania B. Kenya C. Ethiopia Or D. Morocco The answer is B. Kenya. Nairobi, the bustling capital of Kenya, is often called the Green City in the Sun. It's unique for having a national park within its borders where you can spot lions and giraffes against a backdrop of skyscrapers. This vibrant city is also famous for its coffee culture and rich history. Question 4. What is the world's highest waterfall? Is it A. Angel Falls B. Olympus Falls C. Victoria Falls Or D. Niagara Falls The answer is A. Angel Falls Angel Falls in Venezuela plunges an astonishing 3,212 feet from the Ayantapui Mountain. Named after aviator Jimmy Angel, who first flew over it in 1933, this natural wonder is so high that water often evaporates or turns into mist before reaching the ground. Question 5. What does the flag of South Korea look like? Is it A. Red with a white crescent moon and star? B. White with a red and blue inyan symbol in the center? C. Blue with a yellow cross extending to the edges? Or, D, three equal vertical bands of green, white, and orange. The answer is, B, white with a red and blue inyan symbol in the center. The South Korean flag, known as the Taeguki, features a white background symbolizing peace and purity. At its heart lies a red and blue inyan symbol representing balance in the universe. Surrounding it are four black trigrams from the I Ching, each signifying different natural elements and cosmic forces. Question 6. Which of these countries borders Monaco? Is it A. San Marino B. France C. Liechtenstein Or D. Switzerland The answer is B. France. Monaco, the second smallest country in the world, is nestled along the stunning French Riviera. Despite its tiny size of just 2.1 square kilometers, it shares a glamorous border with France, making it a luxurious playground for the rich and famous. Question 7. The country of St. Kitts and Nevis is on which continent? Is it A. Oceania B. North America 
C. South America. Or D. Europe. The answer is B. North America. St. Kitts and Nevis, the smallest sovereign state in the Western Hemisphere, is located in North America. This twin island nation boasts lush rainforests, pristine beaches, and a rich history as part of the Caribbean's Leeward Islands. Fun fact, it's also known for having one of the world's oldest rum distilleries. Question 8. Which of these countries is part of the Arab League? Is it A. Kenya B. Morocco C. Bangladesh or D. Niger The answer is B. Morocco. Morocco, a member of the Arab League since 1958, is home to the world's oldest continuously operating university, al karawayan in Fez. Founded in 859 AD by Fatima al-Firi, this institution highlights Morocco's rich history and its pivotal role in the Islamic Golden Age. Question 9. Kuala Lumpur is the capital city of which country? Is it A. Malaysia? B. Chad? C. Lebanon? Or D. Slovenia? The answer is the Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur, the vibrant capital of Malaysia, is home to the iconic Petronas Twin Towers. These towers were once the tallest buildings in the world and feature a skybridge that offers breathtaking views of the cityscape. The name Kuala Lumpur means muddy confluence, reflecting its origins at the meeting point of two rivers. Thanks for mapping out some time with us. Until next time, keep exploring, because the world is full of trivia waiting to be discovered. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Good night for now, until we cross paths again tomorrow. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.